Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to reset your HP computer to factory settings running Windows 10. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial for you guys today. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the Start menu just by left clicking on the Start button one time. And into the Start menu, you want to type in Reset. Best match after you type in reset should come back with reset this PC. You might have to give the star menu a second to load. It should come up right above system settings. Just left click on that to open up the settings window you see on my screen right now. Now on the right side underneath recovery, reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. It's up to choose to keep your personal files or remove them and then reinstall Windows. Left click on the get started button right here. So we're going to have two options, either keep your files, which will remove apps and settings, but apparently will keep your personal files. Now I would personally recommend that you do create a backup to an external media source, like a USB flash drive or a CD or DVD, if you do choose to go that route. However, I'm going to be doing a complete factory reset for this computer, so we'll remove all of our personal files, apps, and settings. So I'm going to select that for this tutorial here. We are going to have a couple more prompts we're going to have to go through before we actually get to the reset process. And it's going to ask if you want to clean the drives as well. Now if we select just remove your files, this is probably going to be applicable to most people if you're just going to be holding on to your computer. Now if you're going to be donating it or giving it to somebody else, I would suggest the second option. However, like I said, most people the first option is the one to go with, just remove my files, and it should be a little bit quicker as well. And our final prompt will just have to be to confirm that we are ready to reset this computer, which will remove all of the personal files and user accounts on this PC, all apps and programs, and any changes made to the settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. Left click on the reset button here to begin this process. It will take some time, and I will jump back in on the narration when I deem it's appropriate. So hang tight guys, just let this tool run, and I will be back in a little bit.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the End User License Agreement. You can use Express Settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here. It should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay guys, I'm back. So our HP computer should have been reset to factory settings at this time. I would recommend putting all your applications back on your computer that you wanted to once you had your computer in the state. Create some backups and restore points as well once you have it set up, just so you have an easy way to get back to a state that you like or you would want to get back to. And that should hopefully be about it for this tutorial. 
do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.